I think it's important to celebrate the International Women's Day because unfortunately we haven't reached a point where we don't have to celebrate anymore and there is still inequalities in between gender in many aspects in many places in the world and we still need this younger and younger. Yeah, right, so why do you like choose uh, engineering and technology? It's, um, it's an interesting question. So obviously I love science and I was good at math uh, when I was at school, but uh, I also love writing and reading and I was good in literature and I could also contemplate becoming a musician. But I thought uh, it was safer and easier to pursue an engineering uh, career because the good thing with exact science is that you can always succeed if you are competent and you don't depend on people's uh, desire or people's judgment on yourself. So, paradoxically, if you're not too self-assured, if you're not too uh, self-confident, it's actually self-choice to go for uh, science. So, um, have I uh, met any opposition being a, a woman in my career? Actually, not so much. I didn't succeed in uh, getting to uh, my dream job in the very beginning. I don't know why, maybe the fact that I was a woman was uh, not helping. However, I'm quite happy with the plan B I found in uh, working in Seismic and since the 18 years I've been working in this industry, I have hardly ever felt any difference in being a woman compared to being a man. Uh, even when I was working, uh, working offshore, being the only girl on, on board for five weeks. Well, what I've experienced in, in the past uh, as a female uh, leader, that uh, you could be perceived as stressful or, or commanding, or actually sharpy or pushy and I think it's uh, most of the time a perception of your male colleagues being either jealous or not really accepting that they are led by a, by a woman. So that's um, a prejudice to be aware of and it's most of the time just a perception. Right, so diversity in the, in the workplace is, uh, is very important to me because it's by meeting different people that we can understand that our way of doing things is not the only way or the best way. And unless we are exposed to difference, we have no chance of, uh, of becoming better. So do I have a role model or somebody that inspires me that much? Not really. Um, I'm not someone who is just blindly trying to copy somebody and follow his or her path. I just make my own way and I'm inspired by so many different people every day, either my team, my colleagues, somebody I happen to meet or to read a book about or something, but um, I just feed my own way with everybody's uh, inspiration. The best piece of advice I've been given maybe is like, don't overthink it, just, just go ahead and do it and don't be afraid of anything. And so to girls who want to join a career in engineering or going into management or leadership roles, I would just tell them that you are legitimate if you got that job, you don't have to question that anymore, you're not less legitimate than your male colleagues, so you don't have to constantly prove yourself, just save that energy to do your job and, and to succeed.